There was a day when I used slides for maybe one subject. Now I use teaching slides for every single subject. In today's video, I'm sharing how I use Google Slides to guide every lesson I teach and some tips on how you can easily make slides for your lessons. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent, and I love sharing ways to help teachers simplify their classrooms and their teaching. Many ways to do slides for teaching, and so I'm just gonna walk you through a few of them and how I do use them differently. So the first way that probably most people think of is just to do the slides for the entire day. And so it would include all the slides that you use all day long, like, you know, your reading slides and then any independent work time or procedures. And then it would include your math time and different things like that. I use slides like this for the first week of school because there's so much for me to remember that I don't want to be clicking through different slideshows. So this works really well for that. However, I have found that I don't really like doing this for when we're actually teaching content because it changes each year. Some years we teach things faster. Sometimes we have to move whole units around. Sometimes our schedules change and we and then you have you end up having to like recreate the slides and move slides around and it gets a little complicated. Again, that's a personal preference and how you do things you do what works best for you. So if somebody who does really well or who shows a lot of examples of how to do daily slides where all of your subjects are in the same slide, Mrs. Calls Campers, and I will link her YouTube channel down below so that if you are interested in seeing how to do daily slides where all the subjects are in the same slideshow, you can check that out. What I typically do is have a, like each slideshow is a different lesson. So I do that a lot with, we do that a lot in math, where each lesson has its own set of slides. I also do it with my morphology. Each lesson has a different slide, so I link the different slides into our plans. So here's an example of like what it looks like in our lesson plans. So you have each day it's linked in the slides. So this is writing and writing is actually, we do that, I do it differently because I plan the writing. But you can, if, as, as I scroll down to look at math, you can see each day has its own set of lesson plans that just linked in the slides and you pull up your slides for each day and I just pull them up at the top. You can group them to keep track of them so you don't accidentally close them. But that really just works best for my entire grade level. We do it that way because each of us plan a different subject. So the person who plans math just makes the math slides and things like that. With writing, I tend to keep it all in one unit, and that is another way of doing your teaching slides is have it all in one unit. So this slideshow has all of the lessons for our writing unit. So it has lesson one, and it has lesson two, and lesson three. The first couple of our lessons have quite a bit of slides, but when we get down to where they're really just writing and we're not doing a whole lot of it's more like writing conferences. There's not a whole lot. They typically only have like three slides a piece. And so I just find it easier. Like day five, we use a different slideshow because it's from TBT. But there's just not as much to include. So I just find it easier to do a writing unit in one slideshow. But like I showed you my morphology, it is all in different ones. It really just depends on how I'm planning it because sometimes I know that this, these are always all going to be back to back. I'm never going to change the order of this, but I might change the order of my morphology. I might want to teach it a different, in a different order because it's not as important as being in the same order as like narrative writing. And again, it's, I, it's really just up to you what preference works best for you. Another thing that I really want to point out, and you can see clearly here that what your slides look like do not matter because the purpose of teaching slides is to help you get your point across, to remember to include all the important parts of your lesson, not to make it look well. So if you look, most of my personal ones that I created for my grade level are just plain white because to me, it's important to get it created, not to make it look good. So I will show you my capitalization ones. This is how they started, just plain. I got all the information down. And then over the summer last year, I wanted to make it look better. So I actually made it cute. 
and changed it up to give it to make it more visually appealing. But when I'm creating them during the school year, they always just look like this because it's about the information, not about how cute they are. It's always about doing what you can in the moment. And the purpose of teaching slides is to help guide your lesson. And so doing what you can to create your teaching slides. I am hoping to get some of these lessons since I have created them up onto TPT at some point, but we'll see. That's a big undertaking. Uh, this one is almost finished, so this one would probably go up first. I would really love to put my morphology lessons on there because I think they would, those are somebody else's, but I think they would be beneficial uh, to help teachers review or teach morphology. We actually started adding um, quizzes in this year, so I actually created, those are not mine, quizzes to go along with all of our lessons. So that is something hopefully that I will be working on over the summer to get uploaded to TPT. If you're interested in having something like this, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you'd be interested in me creating like uh, lesson templates to where all of the pretty stuff would already be created and you would just have to add in the information of your teaching. I've thought about doing that. Um, but I'm just curious, what are some things you would need to help get you started with teaching slides? Let me know in the comments below. I have a plan with me vlog where I walk through the process of how I create slides at school during my planning period. I'm walking through the process of how I planned a writing unit and created the teaching slides that go along with that unit. So if you'd like to see that in action, check out the video that's on your screen now.